in an IVF procedure, the woman is given drugs to stimulate the ovaries to produce multiple eggs. Each of the mature egg is fertilized, so there are situations where we have a large number of embryos. The question then arises, how many embryos should be put back to achieve a successful outcome? In general, higher the number of embryos that you put back, higher are the chances of a pregnancy because every embryo may not necessarily implant. But the drawback of putting a higher number of embryos is the risk of multiple pregnancies. So one needs to strike a balance in achieving a high pregnancy rate without a very high risk of a multiple pregnancy. So this depends essentially on the stage at which the embryo is transferred. And typically one likes to develop the embryos up to the blastocyst stage, which has a much higher chances of implantation. It also depends on the quality of embryo that is being generated. And this depends, one, on the patient's age, and second, the quality of the lab in which the IVF procedure has been done. And better the quality of the embryo, higher are its chances of implantation, so we need to put back fewer embryos. If you put back one embryo, the chances of pregnancy are marginally lower than when you put back two embryos but putting back two embryos gives you a higher risk of a multiple pregnancy. And in general, a multiple pregnancy has a lower success outcome because it has high risk of miscarriage, premature delivery, perinatal mortality and morbidity. So if you look at everything together, it is always better to transfer a single embryo. We can always freeze the surplus embryos and this can be put back at a later stage if that single embryo does not implant. So in IVF, the chances of a successful outcome are always higher if we put back a single embryo twice as compared to putting back two embryos at one go.